So the last time I did a video on one of Gabby Hanna's songs, <laughs> that ish got copyright claimed with the quickness. So we're gonna do it a little bit different this time. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I'd like to do is take a look at what's going on in the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And yes, Gabby Hanna just dropped her single, Butterflies. So in this video, I'm gonna be going through her lyrics, kind of breaking them down in my interpretation of them and seeing what lessons we can pull from them. And Everybody calm down. I'm warning you to calm down right now because the last time I did a video breaking down her lyrics on Medicaid, it was my interpretation and some people lost their minds, all right? If you have your own interpretation, let me know down in the comments below, but there's no reason to get all angry and feisty up in there, all right? But yeah, anyways, let's get started. I knew who you were from the very start. I just hope you'd prove me wrong. I could spend all year just letting down my guard while you're stringing me along. Gave it our best shot, but we just missed the mark. Sad to say our love is gone. I could spend all day just picking you apart, but instead I'll write a song. So throughout this song, it sounds like she's talking about different relationships. And one of the things that makes me excellently qualified to talk about these lyrics is that I have been in a bunch of terrible relationships. So I try to take what I've learned from terrible relationships and try to teach the rest of you beautiful people out there. So right here, this is something that a lot of us get caught up in, right? Like there's an old saying, when someone shows you who they are, believe them, right? So when she says, I knew who you were from the very start, I just hope you'd prove me wrong. I have done this, um, I've witnessed many other people do this, right? Where you first meet somebody and they have these quirks, not even quirks, they have these like bad qualities. Maybe they're fighting with you a lot at the beginning. Maybe they're flirting with other guys or other girls in the very beginning, whatever it is. Maybe they're verbally abusive or whatever, right? And we see that and then we just sit around and we hope that they're gonna change, right? And what I try to teach people, something that I had to learn a very long time ago is like, this, I always tell people to do this. Think about how hard it is for you to change as a person, all right? It's hard, it is not an easy task. It takes years and oftentimes we need therapy to do so. So when we get into a relationship, knowing the person is a certain way and we're just like, eh, well, I'm gonna wait around for them to change. Maybe they'll, they'll become that sweet, nice somebody that I hope they can be. Like a lot of times we are wasting our time. And some of you might be able to relate to that. Like, and you can let me know down in the comments below, how many of you have wasted months or years in a relationship waiting for another person to change? Said I wouldn't date for a while, still I couldn't help but flirt. From the day I kissed her smile, I thought this is gonna hurt. Ooh, girl, Gabby Hanna, I know what you talking about. Like, how many of us get into these awful relationships and we go through a nasty breakup, we are just heartbroken and we just swear off dating. We're like, I am not gonna do this, right? But this is something I actually brought up in a video I recently did on Trisha Paytas and I mentioned how I stayed single for a very long time. It's because so many of us, we are so afraid of being alone and that feeling of loneliness is so intense. And don't get me wrong, loneliness leads to depression. Loneliness can lead to anxiety. But one of the issues is, is that we think that we need an intimate relationship to cure that loneliness. So like Gabby said in these lyrics, like even though we say we're not gonna date for a while, maybe we know we're not ready to date. Maybe we know we need to work on ourselves, but we, we just kinda, we dip a little toe in it. We dip a little toe and we start flirting a little bit, saying nice things, all, all this stuff. So it sounds like what she's talking about right here is she said she wasn't gonna date a while, she started to flirt and then she ends up kissing a dude and she's like, ah oh, crap, here we go again, right? Because we go back on this, on this thing that we said we weren't going to do and the next thing you know, we get caught all up in it again. So real quick, I just wanna break down the chorus and this line right here where it says, this is gonna hurt, this is gonna hurt, beware of butterflies, they'll break your heart, your heart. So to me, the way I interpret that is the butterflies in your stomach, right? And a lot of us, we get that intense feeling, right? Like, that is one of those things, like if you think about love at first sight, right? Whenever I hear love at first sight, I often think lust at first sight, because you don't know anything about that person by seeing them, right? You don't know what their personality is. That person might be a dick, you know what I mean? But we get these intense 
feelings, the in, these intense emotions. And here's the thing, like so many of us, we get into bad relationships because we jump in way too soon, right? And here's what I mean by this. We don't do like the whole like courting phase, right? Where we date for a while or we don't sleep with them for a while. Like how many of us rush into spending every single day with this person, talking to them all day, calling them all day, every day, jumping into moving in with them, hell, jumping into marrying them or getting pregnant or whatever it is. And we're just running completely off these emotions. And one of the issues with our brains is once the emotions start taking control, the logical brain, it just takes a back seat and you just start doing ridiculous things that do not make sense, right? So sometimes we have to be very mindful of these intense emotions we have. And this is why having a support group is very helpful. So if we know that we're rushing into something or we're feeling very strongly, like if we're having a first date and we're telling all our friends about how we can't wait to get married and have kids and buy a house, it's like, like pump the brakes a little bit, baby girl. Like let's calm it down, especially especially because we might even self-sabotage a great relationship by being too needy or by um, embracing it way too much in the beginning. Told me you'd never been in love, thought that I could be the exception. It was too much to ask of you. I guess I learned my lesson. I'm bracing for impact, leave my heart intact. I wish you never came around, new situation with low expectations. You still managed to let me down. This is funny because I was actually, as I was reading this, I was thinking about that movie, uh, 500 Days of Summer. Like, this is something that a lot of us do. Like, when we start in that initial, like, talking phase, right? We're talking with, you know, whoever our, our little interest is, right? And the person is like, look, listen, I'm not looking for anything serious. Um, I'm not looking to fall in love. I'm not looking to start a family. I'm not looking to do this. And then we lie to ourselves and we're like, okay, okay, right? And like Gabby Hanna wrote in this song, like, I thought that I could be the exception. So we play it cool. We play it like, oh yeah, yeah, we'll just, we'll keep it cash, baby. We'll just keep it casual. We'll just be like friends with benefits, right? But in the back of our mind, we're trying to stick around until they realize that we are just such an amazing thing and they're gonna fall head over heels in love with us. You know what I mean? But one of the issues is, is that we fail to take responsibility for the situations that we put ourselves in, right? Like when someone tells us that they're not ready for a relationship and then they quote unquote string us along, like did they really? Because they told us their honest intentions from the get go. We made the decision to stick around hoping that they would fall in love with us, right? And then we feel so hurt, we swear off guys or we swear off girls, whatever it is, because we're like, oh my God, I just can't find a good person. Well, maybe, maybe we were chasing after the wrong person, right? A long time ago, I did a video about the friend zone, right? Like, this thing happens because we put ourselves into that situation. If somebody tells us, like, listen, I just wanna have a casual, maybe hookup thing, whatever it is, like, but leave them. So in the outro, she says, butterflies, butterflies, butterflies will break your heart, but if I, but if I, but if I knew from the start, why would I, why would I, why would I give this a try? Maybe I, maybe I, maybe I like to hurt sometimes. Boom. Like this is extremely common, all right? There are so many things that we do on a subconscious level and that's why we all could use some therapy where we purposely get into bad relationships, right? Like I, I used to be the type of guy where I thought every girl on the planet was just awful and evil and just they were created to just hurt me and break my heart, right? But something that I learned through a therapeutic process was that I was chasing after women who I knew would break my heart. And there's a wide range of reasons for this. I have an old video about why you date who you date. It's something that we taught in the treatment center that I was working at. But I looked for women who were like broken because I thought I could fix them, right? I looked for women who would treat me bad. And there's a, a common saying that says, we date at our self-esteem level. And this is why, this is one of the main reasons why for many of us, we need to stay single and learn to love ourselves, all right? Because if we don't love ourselves, like when you hear that, you commonly hear like, you have to love yourself before you can love anybody else. This is partially true, all right? But what I see more often than not and something that I've fallen victim of is I needed to love myself because if I didn't, I was going to lower my bar just out of fear of being alone, right? Because if I feel, if my brain tells me that I'm a piece of crap, I don't deserve anything good in life, I don't deserve somebody good, I'm going to date a bad 
person, all right? So I am setting myself up for failure. And this is why staying single for such a long time was so beneficial to myself, as well as many others. I actually had a lot of comments on my last video saying that they stayed single for a very, very long time because we are a main reason why we keep getting into such terrible, nasty relationships. So anyways, I'm glad I got to uh, break down this song. It was very cool. Gabby Hanna, she's awesome. I love how she's always talking about mental health and she's like doing her own thing over on her channel and everything like that. But anyways, let me know your thoughts about this song down in the comments below what your interpretation of it was. Let's have a little chat, a little discussion, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, get your name up in the credits, get involved in our monthly Q&A, and help support what I'm doing here, click or tap right there. All right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.